Everyone wants a trophy even when they do not perform as they should. And that's why in this video, I'm gonna give a trophy to the worst apps when it comes to money and making money, making budgets, and giving value to people on this video right here. Now, this entire award is called the Not So Great Award. I can name it something like more crazy. However, YouTube won't allow it. Next thing you know, I get to monetize. However, the whole point is this, guys. You know, I've been at a lot of contests in my life, okay? And everyone seems to be getting a trophy these days when you know that Marcus did not perform well at that um, baseball game and he dropped the ball 10 times Marcus should not get a participation trophy he should have gotten kicked out the team as soon as he started playing but you know who am I to say okay I'm not the coach I'm not the school the point is I'm still gonna give a trophy to those apps that did not perform well whatsoever now if you guys don't know me my name is Ty Bryson I'm an accountant and I upload videos on YouTube every single day okay yeah it's daily it's crazy I've been doing this for a while now now on top of that subscribe to the channel hit the bell to so get notified and do me a favor and smash destroy dismantle do whatever you want with that like button okay but make sure you click it now the first question I want to ask you guys is this very simple one okay what app have you installed this year onto your smartphone whether it's an Android or whether it's an iPhone that you installed but have never used okay you thought you were gonna use it when it came to money finance or maybe a bank account or whatever but you never really used it whatsoever now comment down below and let me know and if you ask me Tommy what app was it for you well in reality you know clarity money any budget app like Digit, I never use this app because again, it doesn't make any sense to pay a premium, even if it's like $5 or $10, just to have someone do something that you can do yourself in Excel or Google Sheets for free. So for me, I did not enjoy those apps, so I never ever touched them again. So go to your phone right now, pause this video, and search up which app you haven't used on your phone, and comment down below and let me know. Now. The first app I want to give the not so great award to is by far one of the best apps that I never used, okay? And this app is called the Airning app. You guys know what I'm talking about, okay? Do you need a haircut? Well, how about you use the Airning app? And you get to get a haircut. And you also get to buy groceries. Is your mom sick and she can't get medicine, but she does have insurance? Well, how about you use the Airning app? <clears throat> oh my god. 2019 changed a lot for me when I made the video for the internet app exposing them and that video got over 88,000 views. So thank you in that sense. However, the the, the reason that video kind of went like semi-viral is because like I was honest and I was very straightforward and I said what I believed in and that was it. Okay. Now back to the earning app here. The earning app claimed to give you, okay, a free way to get paid before your paycheck actually came in the mail. But when your paycheck did come in the mail, they would just take that portion out and then you would tip them. And if you didn't tip them, then they would limit how much money you could take out. Everyone told me, Tommy, you were crazy. This app is going to save lives. But all it did was make people go from paycheck to paycheck on Fridays to day checks every single day, taking out money out of their bank and out of their paychecks to buy things they don't need. Now, my entire opinion on the Earn app and all these apps that now are offering like, hey, free interest loans, but they actually charge you a tip. And then over the entire year, it might add up to over 500%. My entire tip was, hey bro, just get a budget, it'll help you out, it's free. And that way you can take control of your finances. But everyone told me, Tommy, no, okay? I want to get paid right now, today, and then guess what happens now? You're getting paid every single day, and every single day you have less and less money because what this app was doing, and it's still doing till this day, is exploiting people for their little cognitive issues when it comes to getting money instantly and spending it instantly and not having any money whatsoever. It does not solve the paycheck to paycheck problem as they might advertise, it just creates a worse problem now with urgency. And by the way, this tip, whether it's $1, $2, or whatever you want to pay, it's not good. And if you tell me, Tommy, I'm not gonna tip, well, it has a bad um, reaction in the app because it doesn't really give you as much money as you actually want. And even taking out money before your paycheck out of your paycheck 
it's a really bad habit, okay? You don't want to do that. And I know you have to, you know, earn the money and you already have the money. So why don't you get the money? The answer is you want to fix the issue when it comes to living paycheck to paycheck and the earning app does not fix it. So here you go. Number one, the not so great award goes to the earn app. And here's your award earning. I'm giving away, I'm giving away um, some peanut butter. Okay, <laughs> I don't know why I picked up a peanut butter can, but yes, I'm giving away some peanut butter, and this is your award for being one of the worst apps of 2019. You're welcome, okay? Um, earn an app, do not like it. If you have it on your phone, uninstall it, and go watch my video, how to create a budget, okay, on a minimum wage, and save at least $10,000 in six months. I have a link down below to that video, how I did it, and how I went from earning 60 bucks every single week to not making a little bit over $50,000 without 15,000 by the way, not 50,000, but without having to use the earn app. Okay. Now number two, okay. Number two, who's going to get the peanut butter, not so great award right here is actually chime. Tommy. No, 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 no. Stop right there. I'm logging out. I'm not watching your video anymore. Chime is the perfect app. Did you not see the commercials? A guy folding clothes saying like, hey, I bank with Chime. Now I get paid two days early, no fees, and none of this stuff. Isn't this awesome? Ugh. You know, kinda. But it's kinda like, imagine if a girl tells you like, hey, um, bro, or not bro, because usually girls don't talk like that. But hey, you know, um, Tommy, um, I'm a nice girl, and I can cook, I can do this. But you can't really... You know, it's just not my type, you know? And the main thing is this, guys, okay? I don't know where I was going with that, but the main thing is this, okay? You might have a few features, but you're lacking in a lot of other categories. And that was the main problem with Chime. Chime had, you know, direct deposit two days early, but so did Vero. Chime had, hey, you get no fees, but so did Vero. And they kept comparing themselves to Chase, but in reality, you cannot compete with Chase because you don't have mortgages, you don't have loans, uh, you don't have anything really. All you have is a check-ins account and a mediocre savings account. Now here's why I did not like Chime. Number one was customer service. When I did the video, no one answered the phone whatsoever. And that kind of ticked me off because it was during prime peak of customer service hours and no one picked up and I called off camera literally around five times and nothing happened, okay? Now, number two guys, Chime kept comparing themselves to Chase, but in reality, their real competition was actually Vero, SoFi, and all the other online bank accounts that I recommend out there. And for right now, it's literally Vero and SoFi and a wall firm for savings. Now, the main thing was this, okay guys? Time made it seem like they had the best product out there, but the customer service was very sketchy. On top of that, the savings accounts rate was very bad, and the platform shut down in 2019, and everyone commented on my video saying like, hey, I guess it was a scam now, huh? By the way, link down below if you wanna watch that full video. But the concept is, if you wanna use Chime, don't use it. I recommend, well, for right now, because you know, apps do develop, and over time they evolve, but for right now, I recommend using Vero, everything that Chime has, plus more a 2.80% on the savings accounts. And if you want free ATM reimbursements worldwide and also the ability to talk to someone on the phone whenever you want and even talk to a financial advisor and even get help getting a job, well, guess what? That's actually SoFi. Link down below to those videos on SoFi and also Vero if you wanna check out those platforms which are 10 times better than Chime. Don't talk to me about this girl that might be a good cook, but it's messing, what do we, okay, okay, okay. Don't talk to me about this girl that you know that's really pretty and she's very nice, she can cook, but she's missing like three teeth and it's like, I don't really want that, okay? I want, I want, you know, it's just not my type, okay? It's not my type, I'm not judging anyone, but the point is, you might be cool, but you're missing a lot of features. In this case, you're missing around five things. Now, number three is actually Green Dot. Oh my God. I think Green Dot, they broke the internet, okay? They broke the internet in 2019 when they said, hey, we're going to offer a 3% savings, also a 3% cash back, and everyone went crazy, including me, until I read the fine print. Now, Green Dot offered a bunch of features. 
but in reality they had like seven to ten different loopholes and when i made that 27 minute video on them calling customer service people started commenting and sharing stories about how green dot sucks and they actually try to scam them several times before so here's my opinion on green dot Green Dot tries to clickbait the entire internet and it worked literally for around 10 seconds until everyone saw the videos out there online that said, hey, this is not a good deal. So here you go, Green Dot. You get the peanut butter not so great award, okay? It was not happy with the clickbait. And as you guys can see now, right, no one's talking about them anymore because the entire um, app was jacked up because of the entire feature that they were offering. But in reality, it was mediocre. It didn't make any sense. It had way too much loopholes in it. And you literally had to spend every dime online. And I don't know who you are, but I don't spend over $1,000 online every single month. It's almost impossible for me, okay? So they wanted to spend all the money online. It didn't make any sense. It was loophole after loophole after loophole. By the way, before I forget this, okay, guys, something that I did notice with the earning app is that now other platforms are trying to implement the same scenario onto their check-ins accounts. For example, Moneyline announced something called Instacash. Now, with Instacash, you can go on your entire app and you can get money, but you have to be a member of something. The whole concept is, guys, you know, if this becomes like a viral thing and all the platforms out there offer this, this will not be good to help people use money and deal with money. It'll be like, okay, day by day, I'm gonna take money out, I'm gonna use it, spend it, and then I won't have any money when my actual paycheck actually comes, okay? So be very careful, be very worried when it comes to all these apps starting to introduce the entire earning platform into their platforms also. Now, I promised you guys some bonuses, okay? I promised you guys some bonuses, and here they are. Does anyone remember ASUS Bank? Yes, I'm talking about the 1% check-ins accounts, but they had a whole bunch of like criteria and that's why you got also the peanut butter award, but you don't even make it on the official list because you sucked that bad, okay? Now with ASUS Bank, everything looked fine until they started saying like, hey, you need a thousand dollars coming in and on top of that, you need at least 15 transactions, 15 transactions every single month with your debit card. They try to implement like a whole bunch of little like tweaks and loopholes here and there. And to me, I never like apps that try to, you know, kind of trick the customer. And at the end of the month, we're like, okay, where's my money? They're like, oh, you didn't, you only did 10 transactions. You needed 15 or you needed a thousand dollars, not a 500, where all the money go? Okay, that's my thing. I don't like that game and I don't like games with my money. And that's why ASUS Bank, you get the peanut butter award and I'm not happy with you. Now, does anyone also remember the zero card? Now, this was a card that was sent to me by a lot of you guys. People told me, hey, Tommy, go review it. And when I reviewed this app, it was basically like a debit card trying to become a credit card. And I did a review on it. And you get the peanut butter word also. And the main thing is that, hey, this entire platform was very sketchy. They try to give you like a magnesium card, a black card, made out of different materials. But the whole point is if you want a 3% cash back on your credit card or a debit card, whatever they're trying to do there, the whole point is that you constantly need to refer people to their platform. So you're basically like an employee for them. And I did not like how they took things into hand. And when I made my video, the CEO actually reached out to me and he was mad and not happy. And I have a whole video talking about it. So link down below if you want to find out. And lastly, for the bonus here, does anyone remember Empower Bank? I didn't think so. Me neither. That's all I need to say, okay? About Empower Bank, no one likes it. So here you go. You get the you get the GIF um, peanut butter word uh, award. And that's about it, guys, okay? Those are my three apps that I did not enjoy for 2019. And those are three bonuses that I did not enjoy also. Now, comment down below and let me know. Do you guys agree with me or disagree with me? Or are you guys going to say like, hey, Tommy, these apps were actually the best apps on the entire universe? Comment down below. Let me know. And as always, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video or like this video, really appreciate it. Also, stretch your channel, hit the bell so you get notified. And if you want to talk to me one-on-one, una uno, just DM me on Instagram, Tommy Bryson. And before I go, if you want to watch a full video okay full video on the top apps on the platform not the worst okay not the worst well watch this video right here on top of that my face right here just right on right now and i'll see you guys tomorrow thanks for watching and as always peace